Another week, another video about Mark Marquez's future. He has admitted that he has received offers to leave Honda, but he won't confirm who they exactly are. In an interview with The Zone, he explained that there has been calls with other teams, but he has said, out of respect for all the other brands, he won't say who, how, or how it happened. As you well know by now, he is contracted to Honda until the end of 2024, but things are changing. Now, Marquez's 2023 season has been littered with crashes, injuries, and not being competitive mostly because of the bike. But he has also confirmed that the Misano test that is happening next week isn't the place for him to decide his future. Now, as we know, everyone will probably bring 2024 parts, and the anticipation is to see if Marquez's suggestions and the work the Honda engineers have been doing is actually going to pay forward for next year when he tests out the bike next week. But he has said that he knows where he's going to be riding next year. And no surprise, he's saying it's going to be Honda. And of course, he keeps repeating the message that they're trying to find the best solution for the project. They've tested New York Dynamics. They're trying things that are different. The question is, will he break his contract? Now, Honda have said that they won't stand in his way if he wanted to break it early. It is Grassini Ducati, Pramac Ducati. That's the only two seats that are available for the 2024 season. All things point towards Grassini being the only seat that realistically Marquez could fit in that. Of course, it makes it easy knowing that his brother is there and it would only realistically be for one season when the market opens properly in 2025 and that's when we'll see a big move. Who knows, that could be towards a KTM or even a factory Ducati. But for now, the same thing has been said. Marc Marquez will be staying with Honda unless something changes. And yeah, how long will this story play out for? Who knows? But let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to Christ Moto GP for more content. And we will see you next time.